Hello everyone, uh, this is James from Jay's 3D Adventure uh, and in this episode of the D-Bot Core XY 3D Printer build we'll be having a look at the 3D printed parts. This series is proudly sponsored by Filamentive Filaments and Ooze Nest who are providing the aluminium extrusions for the printer. So let's check out the 3D printed parts. Okay, so as you can see, there is quite a bit, quite a lot of 3D printed parts go into a DBOT Core XY 3D printer. Um, this is the very vast majority of the parts. Um, there's only a few sort of optional parts left to print. Um, but I wanted to do a video now so you can see um, what progress I'm at and where you would be if you were following along. Um, so in this bowl, this lovely Rice crispy bowl, um, these parts here, and let me just zoom in a bit on those for you. Um, so these parts here are the corner brackets, um, 3D printed. You can optionally buy um, metal versions of these, but I, I wanted to go with as much 3D printed parts as possible. Um, so there's approximately 16 of these, I believe. Um, I might have printed a few extras just in case I needed them. Um, another small part we've got in here is a wheel tensioner. Um, that is because I'm doing a, as I said in the previous video, I'm doing um, a couple of different modifications to the printer straight off so that it uh, works a little bit better with a 300 by 300 bed. Um, so that's those parts. Let me just zoom back out uh, and refocus. So let's just have a quick overview of what we've got. This is pretty much split up into the left and right hand side of the printer. Um, and on this side I've gone ahead and um, put in some of the fixings to the printer just to show you what it looks like if you were uh, thinking about um, building one of these yourself. So we have here one of the rear idlers for the printer and it's got um, some bearings here for the belts to run along and square nuts that will fit into the aluminium extrusion. Um, so I've, I've gone ahead and done basically the same to every part of this half of the printer just to show you what they look like. Uh, and I'm really happy with actually how these prints have came out. Um, here is one of the Z-axis um, nuts and the bracket for that. And I'll just turn that off. Uh, and what I also wanted to do um, was to show you sort of how well the tolerances are on the these parts. So I 3D printed a plastic part of an aluminium extrusion and you can see that it fits in there perfectly. Obviously I'm going with um, black aluminium extrusion. Might just have to get a pair of pliers to pull this out. So yeah that comes out. Um, so that's, that's going to be a nice snug fit for when we put our aluminium extrusions in. Um, I just want to also show you this part which is again another uh, one of the modifications I'm doing. So this is um, effectively the hot end carriage. So this is going to be um, a Titan carriage um, and we'll have a, a touch BL touch or similar um, auto level probe there. Um, we've got to have uh, obviously it's going to have auto bed leveling but I've done this modification as well so that we can um, manually adjust the bed as well. Um, so that's pretty much it. I thought I might as well show you a bit of some of the hardware as well. Um, so I'll show you the parts that I've got right here and then we'll move the camera. So we've got 400 millimeter um, all start um, lead screws uh, and obviously the, the nuts that go with those. 
Um, we've got our Z-axis couplers. Two of those, obviously. Um, we've got under the table here a lovely large piece of um, tool tooling plate. So that's an aluminium um, five mil aluminium, three hundred and fifteen by three hundred and fifteen. Um, piece of aluminium that's been um, cut on the top and bottom to provide a nice flat surface so that will be our print surface and that is quite heavy which is one of the reasons I've gone um, for one of the modifications and that this is actually a part of that modification um, so if I grab my bit of plastic aluminium extrusion again you can see that these will actually go on the end of the so this would, if you imagine this is a part of the bed, um, and this goes on the end up against uh, effectively another piece of aluminium extrusion, uh, and there has it has wheels on the on the ends. So this bed is going to go basically the the default um, bed for the for the D bot is a sort of a U shaped um, affair which apparently can cause, there's a little bit of rocking with that. So one of the modifications I've gone with straight away is to have a bed that's supported all the way around uh, and at all four corners. Um, so that is one of the first modifications I plan to do. Um, just a few more parts here. Got some um, three by three plates. Uh, and then there's some 2x1, I think they're called. So yeah, so let's have a look at some more of the actual hardware that goes into this um, build. So we've got these, which are um, mini V-slot wheels. Um, and there's, the bomb calls for 20 in total. Uh, and that's what I've got here, exactly 20, so I'm hoping that these are all okay and I don't need any extras. Um, so that's the first thing that I got. And then here we have um, some flanged bearings, and they are what go together to, to create um, this run for the belt. So you get two of those in each part. Um, and then we have a lot of square nuts um, and you have to be careful when you purchase these if you are slightly deviating from the bomb because the bomb or the original um, v-slot rails would use open build nuts um, but square nuts are a lot cheaper um, you might be able to get away with the sort of traditional um, hammer I think they're called hammer nuts um, but some of them don't fit in the aluminium extrusion. So I went with square nuts that I was able to order online. And you have to get the correct DIN, I think it's called, the DIN number. And that defines um, all the dimensions. Um, so what else have we got? We've got um, M5 by 10 bolts, quite a few of those. Um, and then just basically smaller quantities of certain length bolts in M5 and M3 size. Um, so we've got some smaller M3 by 8 mil bolts here. Um, and this calls for um, both normal nuts and nylon nuts. So make sure you put the correct parts on the correct bolts. Um, what else have we got that I can show you? So I've got, um, this is the belt I've decided to go with, white belt. Um, and this is um, wire reinforced because I don't want it to stretch at all when I'm putting everything together. So I thought that would be the way to go. I've never actually used wire reinforced belt, but it seems like a good idea. Um, what else have we got over here? I've got um, whoops, a power supply. Um, and some of these parts I'm actually obviously reusing from a different build. So here we have a DC to DC 
SSR, solid state relay. Uh, this is what's going to be powering the bed. So what I actually plan to do is have this 12 volt, um, 360 watt, I think it says 30 amp, yep, yeah, 12 volts, 30 amp um, power supply. And I'm going to run the bed solely off this power supply and then use um, an ATX power supply to basically run everything else. So that will be our power supply for the bed. Um, and then I've got the correct um, socket and fuse for, for my power supply, which is 240 volts. Um, and that's, again, from another build, but this is wired up correctly to allow us to connect it to the power supply and have it switch on and off. Um, I've also got a volt and amp meter because um, what I'm actually going to do I think is because the the power supply is actually adjustable so I'm going to turn that turn the potentiometer up on the power supply to around 14 volts to give me slightly more power for heating up the bed um, and then I've also got um, four stepper motors for the X Y and 2 Z um, axis and then I'm going to use this slightly smaller um, stepper for the extruder so that fits in there like that really nice nice and compact um, and that's about it for hardware at the moment I because I'm obviously going to reuse some of the parts from um, another printer so let me just um, adjust this camera back to me okay so that was a quick look at the parts that I've already got and the printed parts. Uh, like, I said, <coughs> like I said, there's a couple of um, optional 3D prints to make. Um, and that's not, I don't know if you can hear the printer at the moment, that's not what's printing at the moment. That's something else that I've been working on. Um, so yeah, that's probably about it for this episode uh, of this D-Bot series. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. Um, so I think all I'm waiting for now is the aluminium extrusion, um, which Oosnest is providing. Um, they're currently out of stock of the 20 by 40 black aluminium extrusion. Um, so once they get that in stock, I will be placing the order. Um, so I think black, white and red is going to look really good together. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching um, and until next time, please like, comment and subscribe.